Hi, welcome to the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. My name is Frank Brightson. You know, I get asked all the time, what do chefs eat when they go home? I'm gonna show you one of my favorite dishes to make for dinner at home, smothered pork chops. Oh, my favorite cut of meat. Simple and good. We're gonna make a nice natural gravy and smother these pork chops down. One of the most important parts of Louisiana cooking is seasoning. Instead of grabbing six different spice jars from your spice rack and trying to season these pork chops, let's make a blend. I'm going to show you a simple, all-purpose seasoning blend that you can use at home on meat, on fish, on whatever. In this little bowl, I'm going to mix together four tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons black pepper, one tablespoon granulated onion, one tablespoon granulated garlic. That's four, two, one, and one. And you can make any quantity of this and keep it stored in your pantry so that it's always ready. Just stir that up. Salt, black pepper, garlic, and onion. A wonderful all-purpose seasoning. Then we're going to season our pork chops just like salt and pepper both sides, end to end, so that every bite's the same. Well-seasoned food is a hallmark of good cooking. In Louisiana cooking, we like to season every step of the way. I'm also going to make some seasoned flour. I have some all-purpose white flour, and we're going to season with the same mix, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Every step of the way we season. Now, we're ready to cook. I have a cast iron skillet here. We're going to heat that up and add some olive oil. You don't need a lot. We're just going to pan fry these pork chops. It's already starting to smoke. That's good. So we'll take the pork chops, dust them with flour, right into the skillet. Smells good already. So the idea here is not to fully cook the pork chops, but just to sear them on both sides. And as they're searing, that flour browns, and that's going to add a lot of flavor to the gravy. I really like cast iron for this kind of cooking. It holds the heat, it transfers the heat. It's a great way to make smothered dishes like this. Let them brown nicely on that first side. Now, let's turn these over and see what they look like. Nice. You can see the nice browning on the edges here by the fat on the outside. And we're going to do the same thing on the second side. Nice and brown. Once these pork chops are browned on both sides, we're going to remove them from the skillet and I'm going to set them on a shallow pan lined with some paper towels. And we're just going to let those sit there for a minute. And in this skillet, we're going to start building the foundation of a nice natural gravy. There's not a lot of excess oil in there, only about a tablespoon or two. So that's just enough to cook our onions. I'm going to add some chopped onion. And we're going to brown these in the olive oil with the brown bits of flour. You see the brown bits of flour in the skillet. That's good stuff. That's not only going to add flavor to the gravy, it's also going to add a little bit of thickness. We're not going to add any extra roux or anything like that. The flour from the pork chops will be enough to thicken the gravy. So we're going to cook these onions until they're soft and clear. I'm also going to add some fresh garlic, of course, and a bay leaf, of course, Louisiana cooking. Now to season the pork gravy, I'm going to add a little bit more of our seasoning. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Just a little bit. Now, as the onions become soft and clear, we're going to add the pork chops back to the skillet. Nesting on that sautéed onion mixture. And then we're going to add some liquid stock. 
even if you buy store-bought stock like I did here, that's going to make a great gravy. I'd rather see you use a store-bought stock than water. Because what does water do? Water dilutes. We don't want to dilute all this flavor that we're building. So add some stock. This is chicken stock, even though it's a pork dish. But it's going to be fabulous. Because as the pork chops cook, they're going to give off good pork flavor to the gravy. Now don't drown these pork chops. Just put a little bit of stock until it comes about halfway up the sides of the pork chops. That way, as they bake in the oven, the stock will reduce, intensify, and become nice and rich. Good natural gravy. So this goes into a 350 degree oven until the pork chops are nice and tender, about 30 minutes. All right, our pork chops have been baking in the oven for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees till they're nice and fork tender. The gravy has reduced, it's nice and thick and rich. It's time to eat. So I like to eat this dish with rice. So I've got some Louisiana popcorn rice. We're going to put our pork chops. Is one enough? Oh, let's go for two. I can always eat two. And then some of this delicious gravy. You can see how much this has reduced down. It's just enough to make a beautiful, rich gravy. You can't beat that. I could eat rice and gravy every day. Smothered pork chops with natural gravy. Thank you for joining us in the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen.